let's talk about the AMD's E2-6100. It's uh, officially codenamed as BIMA and it's a quad core mobile processor which is actually a successor to the Carbini line of uh, processors from AMD. Uh, what AMD did was it uh, reduced the leakage current in the Carbini and that's how it was able to reduce the power consumption for a given level of performance. So that's what it is. It's a it's a quad core processor and it's clocked at 1.5 gigahertz and does not give uh, have any turbo clocking. Pretty much very good for all kinds of entry level computing. If you are doing the internet browsing word processing and so on and so forth. It's it's a decent processor and the good thing about it is it's a low power consumption and as AMD has said it's uh, compared to the Carbini for a given level of uh, performance it will reuse 20% less power not a dramatic change and pretty much all the design is same it's a similar archit architecture similar to the Carbini but just a tweak in the leakage current and manufacturing process that leads to this improvement. So if you ask for the performance, it should have a similar performance uh, to the A4-5000 uh, Carbini quad core processor, but it should take slightly less power for that given performance. Intel is doing better recently and there are two levels of competition with Intel. On one hand, we have Intel's Baytrail Atom processors, which Intel has tweaked and made them better in terms of processor performance. They also take uh, substantially lower power like 8 or 9 watts. So in that sense, Intel's Baytrail is winning the race, processor performance and the power. However, the bay trails are much uh, slower in terms of the integrated graphics. Now, on the other hand, Intel has the Haswells. They are more expensive, much more expensive, and their power profile for the ultra low voltage is similar at 15 watts. And they outperform AMD in terms of processor performance. Their integrated graphics has become either equal or slightly better than this particular processor. But they are much more expensive, something like 100, 100, 150 to $200 processor for the entry level core i3's low power ones. And that's where in between these two AMD does have a market which it will com compete and hopefully will be successful to some extent. As I said, its integrated graphics is similar to the HD Graphics 4000, slightly poorer than the HD Graphics 4400 for Haswells. So it was released, it was announced in April 2014 and we are now into September, October 2014 and we have started seeing these processors in some of the entry level notebooks. Thanks for taking a look.